Hi, welcome. Please come in, have a seat. Yeah, that's right. Just get comfortable. My name is Dr. Cricket, and um, I'll be the one conducting your conscience checkup today. All right? Great. So, uh, before we begin, um, I would just like to uh, get some basic information from you, if that's all right. Wonderful. Uh, now, have you ever had a conscience checkup before? Okay. Well, yeah, it's more of a consultation, I guess. Um, I will be checking some physical aspects because uh, that's just part of the, of the routine exam. But uh, primarily, it'll just be kind of a discussion between you and I. I'll be asking you some questions and just to kind of assess uh, where your conscience is currently. Okay? Okay. Now, do you want a blanket? I know it's a little bit chilly in here. Okay. Let's cover you up with this. Is that better? So now the, uh, the nurse already kind of uh, got the personal information from you, such as your name and your address, that sort of thing. But um, what I'd like to uh, ask you is more, more of a clinical questionnaire, okay? So now what brought you in today, this evening? So just kind of, uh, yeah, just kind of make sure everything's in working order. Great. And you said you've never been for a consultation before, right? Okay. So just for my notes, I'm going to be checking your conscience is actually located in your ear canal, um, believe it or not, or that's the most direct route to see it anyway. It's just past your eardrum, and uh, that's why you often hear the little voice inside of your head. It's actually located right in that region. So what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be uh, looking in your ears just to see kind of the size of your conscience. Uh, kind of the color, um, if there's any um, kind of abnormalities. Mm -hmm. Are you are you okay with that? Oh, yeah, that's nothing to worry about. It's not at all painful or even uncomfortable. There's no pressure um, of any kind, so yeah. Okay, so I'm gonna come up to you. I'm just going to check uh, your right ear first uh, to kind of get uh, a view of the conscience from that angle, and then I'll move to your left. swab here that kind of uh, lets me kind of open the ear canal a bit so that I can actually see it, okay. It's looking good. So far I can see it. It doesn't look enlarged or uh, abnormally small, which is always good. It's good to have a balance. blow in your ear just a bit to see how the conscience itself reacts, okay? Wonderful. Okay. Now I'm going to go around to your left ear. Yeah, it looks great from this angle too. There's no spots right on it. So uh, what I'm primarily looking for is kind of blackened areas or areas that look um, a bit strange when compared to a normal size and color conscience. Ideally your conscience should be white. Um, 
as you get older sometimes of course it, it um, becomes a bit cloudier <laughs> but um, almost a beige color but yours is looking wonderful actually compared to uh, a lot of other patients I have in here so okay I'm gonna blow on this side wonderful response as well okay and take some notes for a moment to get kind of my assessment. Yeah, most people are quite surprised to actually uh, learn that the conscious is actually a physical aspect of oneself. So usually it's kind of a vague notion, but um, there are those of us who are actually able to see it, and we typically either become conscience guides or uh, physicians, things of that nature. My father uh, was actually a physician for many years. Uh, yeah, he studied the conscience at length and uh, it was kind of passed on to me, so it's family business, I guess you could say. Terrific. Now, uh, would you say that I'm just going to be asking some basic questions? Uh, would you say that um, your moral compass is kind of aligned at this point in time, or do you think it needs to be tweaked just a bit? For instance, um, can you easily gauge right from wrong, and uh, are you having any difficulty making decisions uh, kind of of a moral nature? All right. Well, you know what? I'll go ahead and check that moral compass, too, while you're here, just to kind of give it a tune-up. Sometimes it just needs to be uh, aligned a bit more, and then, uh, yeah. <laughs> no, it's, again, it's not painful, so um, I'll make a note to do that before you leave. Now, part of my assessment is usually... Uh, kind of just a couple open-ended uh, questions that I'm going to be uh, posing to you and I just need you to answer as honestly as possible and just kind of the first answer that comes into your mind and it will help me to kind of gauge uh, the state of your conscience um, kind of based on the internal level and if any adjustments might need to be made or if I need to put you on any sort of treatment plan to kind of boost the effectiveness of your conscience. Mm -hmm. So are you ready? Okay. Okay, so the first question I have for you is I want you to imagine that you're speaking with a friend and the friend just colored her hair a very strange hue. It's, um, it's kind of a color that doesn't go well with her her skin tone or her facial structure and the haircut itself is kind of a little bit off. It's just, it doesn't suit her very well. Um, how would you respond to the friend if she asked you if you liked her new hairstyle? Okay, yeah, just the first thing that comes into your mind. Well, there's no really right or wrong questions. Just, this just helps me to learn uh, the status of your conscience, like I said, and kind of learn if, if anything needs to be kind of tweaked just a bit. Okay. Okay, the next question I have for you is I want you to kind of picture that you're walking down the street, and as you're walking down the street, you see kind of along the side of the road, there's a wallet lying there. And you pick up the wallet, and you open it, and there is a $100 note neatly tucked away inside, uh, what would you do? Okay. Okay, 
you the next question I have for you. Uh, kind of uh, picture in your mind's eye that you're at work and there is a co-worker that, um, well, let's just say you don't have a particular fondness for them. <laughs> They're kind of underhanded and a bit sneaky. And uh, you've known for quite some time that they're doing something, uh, well, not necessarily illegal, <laughs> but very immoral uh, while at work. Now I want you to imagine that that co-worker uh, has done something where you finally have proof that they are doing uh, things that your boss just wouldn't like. Now I want to know how you'd respond to the situation. Um, yeah, okay. Now I have one last question for you. This one's a bit tougher. <laughs> well, for most people, anyway. Um, I want you to kind of visualize that you have a very good friend, and you've known this friend for quite some time, and uh, they have been in a very happy marriage for many years, and you were out walking one day, and you stumble upon their spouse uh, with another person uh, and it's obvious by their actions and the way they're kind of behaving around one another that uh, that this person is having an affair now i want i want to kind of gauge what you would do in this particular instance okay yeah you can think about it for a little too okay Yeah, I don't want you to feel rushed today. We're just going to take our time and make sure we kind of thoroughly assess everything. So we're not in any hurry. Wonderful. Yeah, you're doing, you're doing great. Trust me. All right. So uh, the next step is, um, I'm, before I forget, I'm actually going to take a look at that moral compass of yours and see if it needs just a bit of, a, of an adjustment, okay? So what I need you to do is I need you to just, uh, just relax for me. It's actually located on the top of your head, so I'll just kind of move your hair a little bit. And um, actually, I usually have to kind of massage your scalp a little bit just to make it more visible. And then we'll go ahead and um, see how everything's going with it. Usually in the center here. Ah, oh, there it is. Perfect. Move the hair on the side a bit. Okay. Let me just kind of Going. Just kind of, uh, it is a little bit out of alignment, but I'm just kind of remedying that situation right now. Okay, good as new. <laughs> yeah, this kind of uh, allows you to tell right from wrong a little bit more accurately. Um, That didn't hurt a bit, did it? <laughs> Great. So now that that's all taken care of, uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a little bit of a, a guided visualization exercise for you. Uh, it's a little bit more powerful than your typical visualization. Um, I'll actually kind of be exploring your conscience. So, uh, what I need you to do, if you don't mind, is just close your eyes for me. And I'm going to count a backward from ten. And 
I don't want you to really focus on anything. I'll just basically the sound of my voice and I'll kind of walk you through it. I'll be your guide, <laughs> so to speak. And uh, as I come back from 10, I just want you to kind of let all the stress and the worry go. And I just want you to concentrate on absolutely nothing, <laughs> okay? So when I reach one, you'll be in a deep state of relaxation and then we'll kind of yeah, go through the visualization, okay? Yeah, this is just designed to essentially uh, clean your conscience, make it a little bit brighter, uh, strengthen it, and to help you uh, kind of take away the murkiness that the world has, has left in your conscience. All of us, to some degree, um, have been kind of weighed down by the weight of the world. Uh, by the actions that we've had to undertake, or by the stress that we've had to go through, or by the fears that are kind of holding us back. And all of these things have a direct impact upon our moral intuition, our moral instinct. So I'm going to kind of clarify all of those things, clear them away from you, so that you can just, uh, yeah, exactly, have more of a uh, moral instinct, okay? So, I'm going to count backward from 10, and like I said, when I reach 1, you'll be completely relaxed. completely relaxed, and you let go of the stress that's been weighing you down emotionally and physically and mentally. I want you to imagine that you're in a quiet, open meadow, and right in front of you in this meadow is a long filled with pink blossoms. And I want you to imagine that this tree is your conscience. It's that little voice inside of your head that guides you through life. As we get older, Conscience, this tree, begins to suffer from the effects that the world has forced us to endure. The difference between right and wrong. mental clarity. I begin to feel guilty and full of regret. But I want you to forget about all of the guilt. I want you to let go of the regret. And I want you to focus on this beautiful tree before you. I want you to imagine of the blooms are getting brighter. The pink is getting deeper. The lush green leaves are starting to sprout from the ends of the branches. It's flourishing. Now that you've let go. 
go of all of the heaviness, of all of the burdens. Yeah, I take a deep breath in and let it out slowly. And as you do, feel the shadow of the murkiness, of the cloudiness, being expelled from your lungs. Watch it drift off into the nothingness above you. Be present in this moment. When I count up from one to ten, I want you to come back with me into this office. And when I reach ten, you will be fully awake, but completely relaxed. One. Two. pretty much it. Um, I don't think you really had um, a heavy conscience or anything of that nature uh, compared to a lot of other people that I do see. So, as I said before, the, the, the physical state of your conscience looked just fine to me and uh, yeah, it looks like everything's in order. Your, your uh, moral compass just needed a bit of a fine-tuning, but that's, that's normal. Uh, I'll just have you come back next year, actually. I'd like to make this more of an annual checkup, if that's possible. Great. And we'll just make sure you just uh, kind of get a maintenance routine going. And, uh, yeah, it was a pleasure meeting you. Okay. Well, you have my number. And uh, I'm just going to actually send you home with um, some of this tea. It's in this little canister here. And it's kind of a um, an inner voice booster, is what I like to call it. It has a variety of herbs in it, and it will just help you to kind of nurture that inner voice of yours, which is already quite strong. <laughs> and it will help you to kind of alleviate stress and get rid of some of those burdens that have been weighing you down. Uh, okay? <laughs> Alright, well, I'll send you home with that, and... Um, just get in touch with me, maybe try to schedule it about a month beforehand uh, next year, and um, I'll see you again. And yeah, feel free to give me a call or email me if you have any problems before then. Okay, great. Bye.